Tangents to a circle. Question 7. Find equation of tangent through point minus 3, 4. A point on the circle x square plus y square equals to 25. So now here we are given a circle which is x square plus y square equals 25. So that means the radius of the circle is 5 and the center of the circle is at the origin, right? So that's the center of the circle at the origin and the radius is 5. You can see the radius is 5, right? Now, you need to find equation of a tangent through point minus 3, 4. So point minus 3, 4 is this point. So let's sketch, let's draw a tangent here at minus 3, 4. So it will be kind of like this. Right. As you know, always tangent to a circle will be perpendicular to the line joining with the center, right? So if I join that point with the center, then this tangent and this line will be perpendicular, right? So radius and tangent are always perpendicular. And we are going to utilize this property to find equation of the tangent line, right? Now, we know that this point is minus 3, comma 4. And the point in the center is 0, 0, right? So that is our origin O and this is the point P. So what we can do is, given these two points, we can find slope of the radius, right? So we say slope of the radius is slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, right? So slope here will be these are your x1, y1 points, right? We write, so first coordinate is always x1, the second one is x2, right? Is y, y1, right? x and y coordinates. And we'll take this as 0, 0 point, right? 0 and 0. Well, this time I've taken this as point 1, that as point 2. So my y2 is this, 0, and x2 is also 0. So I'll write this slope as y2 minus y1, that means 0 minus the y value is 4, right? 0 minus 4 divided by x value of 0 minus x value. So 0 minus minus 3, correct? So that gives me minus 4 over 3 as my slope, right? So this is the slope of the radius. Now what is the slope of the tangent line? Slope of the tangent line, because it is perpendicular, should be negative reciprocal, right? So slope of tangent should be equals to 3 over 4. Negative reciprocal means change the sign and flip them. So negative reciprocal, 3 over 4. That is the slope of the tangent. So whenever you multiply these two slopes and if you get minus 1, that means the two lines are perpendicular. So that is another way of checking whether the lines are parallel or perpendicular or what, right? You can look into my videos on perpendicular and parallel lines to get more details on this, okay? Now we get the slope of the tangent line. Now we know the slope of the line and we also know the point. So our slope m is equals to 3 over 4 for the tangent and the point through which tangent is passing is point p which is minus 3 and 4. So knowing slope and a point, we can always find tangent and let's use slope intercept form which is y equals to mx plus b to find the equation of this line, okay? Now, the y value here is 4, so let me write 4 equals to slope m is 3 over 4 and x value is minus 3 and b is a variable which we need to find. Right? So that gives us 4 equals to minus 9 over 4 plus b. Right? Now from here we can find b. Right? So let's take it to this side and do rest of the work. So we get b equals to, so we'll bring it on that side, 4 plus 9 over 4. So we can take 4 common. Right? So we get 4 common. 16 plus 9, which is 
25. So we get 25 over 4 as the value of b. So therefore we can now write the equation of our tangent line y equals to slope which is 3 over 4 x plus b which is 25 over 4 right so that is the equation of the line in slope intercept form which is tangent to the circle at the point minus 3 4 correct as an exercise you can write this in standard form. To write it in standard form, multiply by 4 and bring all the terms to one side, right? And then you'll get your equation, correct? So the answer in standard form will be, I'm just writing 0 this side, it doesn't matter, you can write either side. So when you multiply by 4, you get 3x here, right? Minus 4y plus 25. So that is the equation in standard form for the equation of tangent line through point P on this circle, okay? I hope you understand it. Next problem, well, you can solve the next problem which is very similar to this on your own. You can stop the video, solve the problem and then look into the solution, okay? Thank you.